good gritty win at home, Wayne, um, for the side. Seventh win for the season. You know, not pretty at times, but you get the two points and you move on. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up, Ben. That's pretty much what happens. So. You happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Don't have to be pretty to win. Just got to get it done. It says a lot about the team that they can win without their origin players. No, no Gilbert, no Hammer, and it just speaks volumes. You know, this is still. Yeah, well, it's always a challenge, but um, you know, that's pretty much conditions out there tonight. I mean, it wasn't. It didn't rain, but there was a lot of dew on the ground, and the ground was heavy and wet, and I just thought we did a great job in it. Why, well, Anthony Milford did a bit of everything out there tonight. What did you make of his game? Anthony Milford, eh? Hmm. Not to think about that. <laughs> well, he's very good, though, Wayne, and I. Yeah, well, I'll let you make the headlines on it. Did, did you like the way he kicked the corners, though, Wayne? <laughs> set, set up a try, scored one. Like, he, yeah, he could, one. You couldn't have asked much more in, in six minutes there. He, he sort of put his stamp you on the game. You don't need me, Joe. You saw the game. You don't need me. I thought it was more, at one stage, the Dragons were running away in the second half, and he came up with the, the big tackle. I think it might have been on Moses Suley. Yeah. I thought was a play that many might miss, but a coach yeah. might like. Yeah, no, I, I like his game, so... And Jermaine Osaka, a milestone game, 100. Um, and he said this week that he's been able to return to the form that he's found this season, now his best try-scoring season, because of the confidence that you've given him. Well, what did you see in Jermaine over the last couple of seasons that said, I want to get him to the Dolphins? Well, I didn't know I was going to be the Dolphins two seasons ago, so, <laughs> so I can't go back that far. You came in 2018, though, didn't you, Wayne? Yeah, I, well, he came to the Broncos because of me, and he was someone that everybody kind of wanted at the time. Is, Schoolboy star, um, yeah, no, was, we just had a good relationship, and but he didn't want to rain on his own parade. Didn't he? Wasn't going to let the boys rain on his parade tonight. He obviously took the game by the scruff of the neck. He kicked four out of four. He kicked well, four, five out of five. Actually, he scored two tries. So he was going to make sure that he wasn't coming off the field without um, for his hundredth game. And not without playing well. Sorry, you're finding a way to win with different spines, Wayne. It's not always easy in the NRL when you've, you've, you've had to chop and change a lot and you had to tonight. Yeah, but no, that's... we did. I, but Cody was good at full-back. And, well, we're a very adaptable team. We've had to be. We've had injuries virtually every week that we play. When, I don't think maybe the first week we played, we had our best team on the park that we could get. But since then, we've been you know, injured. We've got origin players missing, that type of stuff. But to his credit and the team, they, they do find a way. Just you've been able to bounce back from all your losses pretty regularly over the last six or eight weeks. How do you get back to that consistency from the start of the season, though, now? Um, well, yeah, it's a good question. Um, I think just focusing on what we have to do. We know what we have to do and what, what works for us. It's about just going out there and training it and, and playing it. And hopefully we can get our best 17 out there and you know, get a few games together. So, yeah, it's all right. Jersey, how much do the boys enjoy playing out there tonight in that atmosphere? Yeah, it's always always good to come home and, and play here. We we train here and you know done our preseason here and this is this is a real um, home for the Redcliffe Dolphins. So it's good to good to bring the boys here and, and have a game. And I think we'll play two games here now and yeah, hopefully we can keep that keep that going at home, playing really good footy and, and tough footy. Two from two at home here, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the halfway mark of your regular season, which means there's still a hell of a lot, long way to go. But seven wins after 12 games, you've proven a few people wrong. Would you care to comment on the first half of the Dolphins' first season? Not really. <laughs> what if I pushed you? you? Push as much as you want. Are you surprised, <laughs> are you surprised where you're at, Wayne? No. So you expected to be sort of... Well, I didn't expect what I read, what we were going to be, so... But anyway... Only halfway, we don't want to run around patting ourselves on the back, we'll go to sleep. You're off to New Zealand for your next game, how are you preparing for that? Oh, you're getting like jail now, you're <laughs> trying to get ahead of, ahead of the game, we just, let's enjoy this one tonight. <laughs> we'll worry about that one later in the week. Jesse, what's been the best part of the first half of the season through your eyes as captain? You just single something out. I would say the effort of what, what the team's putting in. Um, not only out when we're playing games, but also at training too. You know, it goes from the top down, you know, the coaching staff and, and the players. So as long as we keep doing that, we'll be on we'll be right. Well, one last question, Joel. 
Can you get me? I'm not going to answer it anyway, but I just want to. <laughs> 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 <laughs>